Matthew chapter 23 verse 13 to 36 eight woes but woe to you scribes and Pharisees hypocrites because you shut the kingdom of heaven in front of people for you do not enter it yourselves nor do you allow those who are, are entering to go in woe to you scribes and Pharisees hypocrites because you travel around on sea and land to make one proselyte. And when he becomes one, you make him twice as much a son of hell as yourselves. Woe to you blind guides who say, whoever swears by the temple, that is nothing. But whoever swears by the gold of the temple is obligated. You fools and blind men, which is more important? the gold or the temple that sanctify the gold. And you say, whoever swears by the altar, that is nothing. But whoever swears by the offering that is on it is obligated. You blind men, which is more important, the offering or the altar that sanctifies the offering? Therefore, the one who swears by the altar swears both by the altar and everything on it. And the one who swears by the temple swears both by the temple and by him who dwells in it. And the one who swears by heaven swears both by the throne of God and by him who sits upon it. Just a side note, uh, God actually tells us not to swear by anything. Um, just let your yes be yes and your no's be no's. But this, uh, it gives us an insight into what the rabbis were teaching and um, how, uh, how it doesn't make sense. Verse 23. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you tithe mint and dill and cumin and have neglected the weightier provisions of the law, justice and mercy and faithfulness. But these are the things you should have done without neglecting the others. You blind guides who strain out a gnat and swallow a camel. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you clean the outside of the cup and of the dish, but inside they are full of robbery and self-indulgence. You blind Pharisee, first clean the inside of the cup and of the dish so that the outside of it may also become clean. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you are like whitewashed tombs which on the outside appear beautiful, but inside they are full of dead men's bones and all uncleanness. So you too outwardly appear righteous to people, but inwardly you are full of hypocrisy and lawlessness. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, Hypocrites, for you build the tombs for the prophets and decorate the monuments of the righteous. And you say, if we had been living in the days of our fathers, we would not have been partners with them in shedding the blood of the prophets. So you testify against yourself that you are the sons of those who murdered the prophets. Fill up then the measure of the guilt of your fathers. You snakes, you offspring of vipers, how will you escape the sentence of hell? Therefore, behold, I am sending you prophets and wise men and scribes. Some of them you will kill and crucify, and some of them you will flog in your synagogues and persecute from city to city, so that upon you will fall the guilt of all the unrighteous blood shed on earth from the blood of the righteous Abel to the blood of Zechariah, the son of Berechiah, whom you murdered between the temple and the altar. Truly I say to you, all these things will come upon this generation. Now, please take a moment to make a summary for what you just read. Your summary can be something like, Jesus pronounced eight woes on the scribes and the Pharisees for being hypocrites, blind guides, murderers, and persecutors. Now here is your comprehension question. For you tithe the mint 
and do and cumin, and have neglected the weightier provisions of the law. Blank. What goes in the blank? But these are the things you should have done without neglecting the others. What are the weightier provisions of the law? Is it A, justice and mercy and faithfulness, or B, tithing and having fun? If your answer is A, justice and mercy and faithfulness, then yay! The answer is A. For you tithe mint and dill and cumin, those are the little stuff, the like, um, yeah, and have neglected the weightier provisions of the law, justice and mercy and faithfulness. These are the important stuff that we need to remember. But these are the things you should have done without neglecting the others. Now ponder this. Do you do anything that Jesus condemned the scribes and Pharisees for? If so, how should you respond to Jesus' word? <laughs>